I have never once been in the White House where that conversation has happened. I am not aware of any cabinet members that are even talking about that. It is completely and totally absurd. That's U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley responding to questions on whether Trump cabinet members discussed invoking the 25th Amendment. That follows a New York Times report alleging Deputy Attorney Ro General Rod Rosenstein suggest suggested invoking the 25th and wearing a wire to record conversations with the president. And Citrus TV political analyst Brandon Ross is here with what comes next for Rosenstein. Hi, Brandon. Yeah, Jack. So this meeting between Trump and Rosenstein has been a long time coming, even with the recent development just moments ago that Trump said he never planned to fire Rosenstein. And now, so Rosenstein has given Trump a world of headaches ever since he was appointed Deputy Attorney General a while ago. Uh, he appointed Robert Mueller to head the Russia inquiry, the, one, the same one that Trump has repeatedly called a witch hunt by, launched by the Democrats. Back in April, Rosenstein also personally approved the FBI raid on the offices of Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. And the potential final straw, of course, came from that article you mentioned, published by the New York Times on Friday, which said that Rosenstein had discussed possibly recording Trump secretly and invoking the 25th Amendment, the latter of which would have removed Trump from office. And now we don't know what will happen in this meeting now, especially with this recent revelation that Trump doesn't intend to fire Rosenstein, but one thing's for sure, this is just going to be a continuing saga as this thing goes forward. It, right, I think it's a lot of he said, he said type of, of back and forth. So what's with all this cat and mouse type game? Well, we don't know. He's done the same thing with Jeff Sessions. He's right. constantly criticized Jeff Sessions, the attorney general, and it seems like he's trying to bully a lot of people into getting fired, rather into resigning, rather than him having to fire him, because it's been a long time thing that even though Trump's known for firing people, he doesn't actually like firing people in person. And so uh, Rosenstein, obviously this meeting might have st had Trump maybe just take a step back real quick, but, you know, as this goes forward, you're probably going to see more constant pressure he puts on both Rosenstein and Sessions, something he hasn't shied away from in the past. Well, Brandon, we'll certainly keep an eye on this. Thank you so much.